Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video quickly on the current Tainari drama with his English voice actor, Elliot Gindy. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot more to cover than just his particular behavior because um, with a company as big as, as Hoyoverse and uh, really Genshin Impact in general, um, you're going to have to expect more than one incident like this because of just how vile some people really are. Um, actually, previously to this particular situation, the um, Chinese voice actor for Kave, um, one of the uh, Sumeru characters, um, actually he's uh, Al Haytham's, what, uh, uh, roommate? I don't know, something like that. Anyway, so he actually um, it was known for assaulting female fans, and that was a big old uh, um, drama with him. And then, of course, there's just um, this situation with Elliot Gindy. It, it really does seem like Hoyoverse has a really um, bad tendency to just choose the worst possible um, people to be some of the uh, voices behind the characters that we all know and love. I mean, Tainari is probably one of the most um, positively reviewed and um, loved characters from Sumeru, just from the of course. Um, I forget? current meta and everything else. I mean, come on. It just, it, it, it's so vile Listen before. how I horrible I this all is happen. how horrible it is that you know you 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 try you try to uh to say. Just love the character but you can't get past the fact that the voice behind him is just so awful just so i mean okay so here's the situation basically um Elliot Gindy was called out recently on Twitter and then he posted a tweet longer basically confirming all the rumors that he had um um basically groomed and um coerced three different fans, one of which at least was underage, into um role play and sexual kind of conversation with him and um, had um, been doing other questionable things like streaming in his boxers and other just really reprehensible and kind of just predatory and negative behaviors in general. So basically, he has um, really, 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 really been um, a problem. It, it only recently came out, but it's been... I guess, known for a bit, and evidently the victims finally came forward. It, uh, the biggest issue, I think, is the fact that it's just so, so, so awful that this had, that this had to happen to those people. And the fact that one of them is underage, it's just reprehend. It's horrible. So, the biggest thing that I want to take away from this is that um, don't meet your heroes. Don't talk to your heroes. Don't talk to the people that are um, that that you that you idolize or that you um, look up to in, in in entertainment or any industry. Heck, don't look up to me. Don't idolize me. Don't put me on a pedestal. Just don't do it. You know why? Because one, I don't want it. But two. If you form that habit with people like me who might not be bad, and then you go on to continue that habit with other people that aren't as cut and dry, possibly, um, you know, not pieces of utter garbage, then you end up opening yourself up to either one, um, being completely disappointed when the person that you thought was amazing and awesome and everything else turns out to be an utter freaking mess of a person it's it's just it's it's 
mind-boggling how destructive this whole um, industry can be. But it's also just mind-boggling that some of these people don't even care. Don't even care. They'll, they'll get into the industry just for the sheer fact that it gives them a, that, that it, pardon my French, it gets their rocks off because now they have power and now they have position and now they have authority that they can use to get what they want because that's the way they are. Um, these pieces of utter garbage people that there are out there really all need to just go ahead and go away to a cave and stay there, honestly. Um, as a CSA survivor myself, um, going through it when I was 12, having it be one of my friends who was very, very much someone I looked up to and who ended up using me for his own satisfaction, that kind of behavior that I see in this guy and other people is just so vile and so horrible and so inexcusable and unforgivable almost. Not the person. The person has the opportunity to be forgiven. The behavior does not. And so because of that, we do forgive. We cannot forget. And we do not allow people that have shown themselves untrustworthy to have positions of trust ever again. That's my take on it. That's my whole shtick on it. I don't care what you say. But, you know, I personally think if he is ever given another position as a voice actor, the company that that does give him that platform should be heavily scrutinized and possibly boycotted just because if you're going to promote and platform someone like that, that is if he doesn't end up getting thrown in the slammer for all this. Because like I said, one of these kids was actually a kid. He was, they were under age, which really... Um, just grinds my gears and completely boils my, boils my, my, I, I don't know. I don't know a euphemism for boiling, but blood, it, it, my blood boils at the idea of this crap it does. You know, it's just, why would somebody at all be involved in working with, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off of here before I keep ranting about it and get pissed because I will, and instead just let you all go and pray that you all have a wonderful day and that you all have a wonderful evening. Um, I'm recording this at 1:27 a.m. because I could not sleep and I did not want to um, allow this to stay in my head rent free because. Honestly, he doesn't deserve the platform even in my mind. So thank you so much for watching, for listening, for sharing, for just being here, and for being a part of my day. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you again soon.